What's going on YouTube, GSNOW right here. So in today's video we're going to talk about a new future restore which is basically the tool we use to downgrade with these saved SHSH blobs that we saved with either TSS Saver or with various tweaks. So a new version of the future restore has been released which is compatible with iOS 14. It has also been tested by RA9 in here and it seems to be working successfully although there are some issues that you have to keep in mind. So just a couple of days ago developer RA9 posted quote 14 14.1 to 14.0 developer beta 2 restore was successful but biometrics are broken i've never seen something like this since ios 10.1.1 and they posted a full log of the restore which does seem to look okay but there is an ftr error that i don't really like in there probably that's what causes the errors with the biometrics i don't know it's worth investigating but they also said that the passcode works okay so even if the biometrics don't work if you really really need to perform a downgrade to be able to jailbreak because for example you have the blobs saved for a version that has become jailbreakable and you want to update to it you would be able to use this new future restore it has been released by adam and they said quote here's a fork of the future restore that should work for the 14.x restores and they posted it on github now as far as i can see on the releases there is no compiled version at least not for the latest version the last compiled version is on january 3rd probably this year but anyways that's not exactly very good because this means that you're going to have to compile it yourself. Now, in order to compile it, you have to make sure that you have all these libraries and all these dependencies already installed. Not exactly a problem, you can use Brew or Homebrew in order to be able to install them, but they do need a little bit of attention, so yeah. There is, however, a link in here which says latest compiled version can be found here, but this one goes to TeamStar's repo, and this is not the version that is in here, so do not get those, you have to compile them yourself. Though it does seem to be working pretty fine, as RA9 has done some testing in here. They also said, quote, future restore on iOS 14. iPhone SE first generation restored back to 14.1 from 14.2 with an unofficial build of future restore that is compiled with the latest iDevice restore by Adam. So basically it's Adam's creation, Adam's fork, and you can get it, you can compile it yourself, and you can use it for iOS 14. Because apparently the future restore was broken on iOS 14 and it's now working. Do keep in mind, however, that according to RA9, the biometrics may not work. That is Face ID and Touch ID. The passcode does work, the passwords do work, but the Touch ID and Face ID may not work. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be fixed in the future. Do monitor the repo if you actually want to know when something new happens. You can store it or of course watch it if you have a GitHub account and you will be able to know when something gets updated. But yeah, this should work with the 14.2, 14.1, 14.0 and stuff like that. So how is this useful? Well, let's say that you have saved the blobs for 14.1 point one which is currently signed and you have used something like the ss saver well at this point 14.1 is not jailbroken and you're running 13.5 for example which is jailbroken let's say that ios 14.1 stops being signed and right after that we get a jailbreak well it's impossible for you to update to it anymore if you want a newer version that is jailbroken because it's no longer signed however if you do have saved blobs and of course if the sep and base band are compatible with the latest version you can just use this tool in here the future restore and upgrade from 13.5 or whatever to that 14.1 version which at that point is jailbroken so this can be used for both upgrades and downgrades but mostly for jailbreak purposes because you want to go where the jailbreak is and you don't want to stay on a very old version if it's jailbroken for example iOS 12 is indeed jailbroken 12.3 12.2 but I wouldn't advise you to stay in there especially if you could update the 13.5 because the 13.5 jailbreak was released when the 13.5 was signed. The reason I don't recommend that because you remain very very far behind so a lot of features you're missing on and a lot of bug fixes and security fixes you're missing on so try to hunt a little bit the latest version that can be jailbroken. Save blobs and of course when a jailbreak is available use your blobs to update to that version but do not update while there is no jailbreak available like is the case right now. However yes the tool has been made available. Another important thing to note is that this is only for macOS and Linux for now. There are future restores for Windows, but they seem to be a little bit flaky and not updated very often, so yeah, it's safe to say that for the moment the Windows support is somehow flaky, so be prepared for that. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am GSNow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated, peace out.